If you're in a post-discard phase with the narcissist, they broke up with you or they acted so horribly that they forced a reverse discard and you had to break up with them even though you really didn't want to, and you're thinking about every which way to get revenge on this narcissist, you gotta cut that out right now. The only way to get revenge on a narcissist is to forget about them, make them completely insignificant in your life, fall so in love with your own life that you don't even think twice about them. And it is possible. You're just in a trauma bond right now, so you're obsessing over it. Being with this narcissist was a complete waste of energy from day to day. They were abusing you, they were not listening to you, they were dehumanizing you on a regular basis. The only positive thing that comes from these relationships is the knowledge that you gain moving forward so that you never get into another toxic relationship again. Or if a narcissist does sneak their way into your life, you cut it off immediately once you know that. Now that you are out of this toxic relationship, even though it doesn't feel like it right now, it's actually the best thing that's ever going to happen to you in your life because it gives you the freedom to live up to your full potential. A potential that was squandered by being with this selfish, unempathetic person who required all of your time and energy. So to dismiss that you are totally free from this abusive, toxic person by continuing to throw your energy into them, thinking about how you're going to reach out to the new supply and warn them, thinking about how you're going to get vengeance on the narcissist, you are falling into the trap of still wasting your energy on them. All you have to do, and this is more simple than you may realize, is shift that energy from obsessing about them into yourself and obsessing over the positive, healthy relationships, hobbies, and interests that you have that will help you to live your best, most fulfilled life. If you picture your relationship with the narcissist like a rowboat that had a big hole in it, and you were just trying to pour out buckets of water from this rowboat to keep it afloat, and it was just sinking and sinking, then at some point you're going to have to realize for your own survival that this boat is a lost cause. And in fact, there are tons of other rowboats out there without holes that you could be investing in. In other words, stop putting your energy, which is limited, into a sinking ship, which is the narcissist. Dedicate that time instead to a future that you can get excited about that is free of that toxicity. And I know you are depressed as you're going through this really terrible, horrible breakup, but just do what little bit that you can every single day until you start to reach your goals.